The message just repeats. Regret, regret, regret. Catchy. Any idea what it means? Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the Corps just blew up our raggedy ass fleet. Hoorah! Regret is a name, Sergeant. The name of one of the Covenant's religious leaders, a prophet. He's on that carrier, and he's calling for help. Immediate. Grid Kilo 23 is hot. Recommend mission abort. Roger, Recon. It's your call, Sarge. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! Master Chief, get aboard that carrier. Secure the profit of regret. This is the only place on Earth the Covenant decided to land. That profit is going to tell us why. 30 seconds out. Stand by to... Whoa. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Missing Wizards, part A of Halo 2. And, uh, well, this is certainly an interesting uh, level. Uh, because when I was playing, when I do my recording, I was like, this is really long, this is like six parts. There's actually only three, but it's two, um, what it is is the level straight after this is linked to this and there's like isn't really a cutscene between the two so it's you think it's one giant level it's not it's actually a completely separate level um and also i'm gonna warn you guys part two of this level this is outskirts by the way this is what this level is called is gonna be really short because well <laughs> if you know what uh the second segment of this level is then you will know why it is short. You literally just drive along a beach. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's all you do in part two. I literally looked, it's like two minutes long, that thing, so. Yeah. Uh, what you gotta do here is you've gotta hold this area while waves of elite, well, waves of covenant, I should say, not elites, because there's grunts and jackals as well. Uh, try and kill you. That's what you do. I, like I said in other episodes, I haven't played Halo 2 in a while. So, I forgot that you just had to hold this area. I was like, I want to move, let me go somewhere else. And that's what you see me do. Um, how did you guys like part seven, by the way? Uh, it was a, it's technically an episode of the last day. Uh, what it is, is a, that is happening while this is happening. And you'll, uh, you'll see by the end of this part what I mean. Because we crashed. And although that cutscene was only taking us three minutes to, like that the cutscene that existed in part seven is three minutes long and this you've seen the length of this episode it takes place over the same time frame so yeah that makes sense continuity issues but whatever I mean I suppose I couldn't make a three minute gameplay segment be very exciting Jackals are annoying. And I threw a grenade up there because I'm an idiot. I was like, there's movement up there, let's throw a grenade up there. How do we know we're the good guys? I mean, Halo 4. And upcoming Halo 5. I say upcoming, it's probably out by the time this comes out. Um, and yes, once I've done Halo 3, and... Halo 4, and maybe Halo Reach, and maybe ODST. And we'll finally get to Halo 5. Just that I'm not pre-ordering Halo 5, because I pre-ordered Halo 4, didn't particularly like that. 
and well I didn't pre-order the Master Chief Collection because I didn't have an Xbox One at the time but even when I did get an Xbox One and the Master Chief Collection it was still really buggy and awful so yeah I'm not pre-ordering <laughs> that uh, I'm not, I'm not going to pre-order Halo 5 Three four three are really gonna have to Cross street, down low. prove to me, like with reviews and stuff, that Halo Five is in gameplay on YouTube and you know friends' opinions of multiplayer. Whether Halo Five is worth me picking up, and I will let's play the the, the storyline. But what I'm thinking of doing is probably if I don't want to like get it. <laughs> How can I say this? If I don't hey, like the multiplayer, oh yeah, I pushed this guy off because I thought it was funny. There we go. Um, yeah. If I don't, <laughs> if I don't want to uh, play the multiplayer, I'll probably just buy Halo Five Guardian to used and just play through the story and then. I mean, 343 won't get the money. I mean, it will go. It will actually go to my local independent game store because that's where I'm going to decide I'll get it from because they, they really need the money. I mean, they sell a lot of retro stuff. It's not where I got Halo 1 and 2 from, though. No, I, I bought these from Amazon. But if I need, if I ever need retro stuff, like a retro console, I'll go there. But I'm lucky because. In in Europe and the UK, we we don't really have retro game stores. We don't have flea markets. I mean, the only place you can really go, I mean, we have things called car boot sales, which are like flea markets, but uh, it's it's harder to find retro games because typically the NES didn't do well, the Super Nintendo didn't do well. I mean, the, Europe's always been a Sega and Sony area. Uh, yeah, so the NES didn't do well, the uh, Super Nintendo didn't do particularly well. Master System did quite well, and the Mega Drive or the Sega Genesis did quite well. I have a, actually have a Mega Drive right now. Um, they did quite well but as consoles, but typically you just had like European... We were, because the game crash didn't happen, and there was no, there was like no consoles, because obviously, essentially what happened, when the game crash happened, obviously, we had the Atari 2600 and all that. And then, because the American companies weren't uh, making games for it and the Japanese companies weren't, we were just like, yeah, well, we'll make, uh, con uh, PCs have become these these amazing things, and you can play games on them to get PCs. So we all had, everyone had PCs, and then we were like, well, what's the point getting a dedicated gaming system? You just got a PC, you can play games, and can do other things as well. So that's why the, ma the uh, Master System and G uh, Mega Drive did quite well because they they were an improvement over PCs over the time. And the uh, because nobody cared about Nintendo because nobody bought the Super Nintendo or NES. Oh, oh yeah, it didn't help that the NES had two different versions in Europe. Yeah, you have the uh, you have the Mattel version because Nintendo were like Europe is too big. Just we'll make a. N Mattel, you have distribution. Do it. I wanted to get uh, Johnson's gun there. Uh, Mattel, you do it, and then they were like, "Shit, we're not doing well at all because people were buying the master system." So Mattel, uh, Nintendo was like, "Mattel, we're releasing, we're doing it ourselves because by this time it was a success in in America, in Japan, obviously." So, Nintendo uh, made their own version, but it was incompatible with all the earlier released games. Well done there, Nintendo. Uh, so, nobody cared about the Super Nintendo. I mean, th it sold, but it didn't sell as well as the, uh, as well as the Mega Drive. And then the, uh, the Nintendo 64, nobody particularly cared about because Sony was like, because nobody knew. Well, no, the Sega Saturn actually did quite well in Europe for 
the Sega Saturn. Um, it did sort of better than it did in America. I, I'll give it that. Um, yeah, everyone was like, PlayStation, and then PlayStation 2 came out, and everyone was like, PlayStation 2, let's get it. And nobody cared about the GameCube. Some people cared about the original Xbox, some people cared about Dreamcast. And then PS3 is done well. I mean, the only people in Europe bought the Wii like they did everywhere else, but like that was p many people's first Nintendo system. And that's weird to me. Uh, and of course, in in the UK, we bought a lot of 360s, but the 360 didn't do very well outside of the UK. I mean, it was PS3s everywhere else. Just weird considering the uh, insane markup that they had over here in Europe. And then, uh, well, it's PS4 again. And again, the UK is buying Xbox Ones. And the Wii U's, no, nobody knows what the hell the Wii U is. He's dead, you know, you don't have to show. Uh, so, yeah, that that's a story of consoles in Europe. Yeah, see, this is where the, those marines were in the cutscene in part 7. And of course, many people are going to PC gaming now because it's cheaper. I hate... I, that's weird. Like, I'm looking at the record and I'm like, there's a lot of lag here when it's loading and I don't ever see the lag when I'm playing. Maybe it's just like f the capture card having a frame issue, maybe. I have no idea. But I'm going to do a Rambo thing in a second once it drops all these uh, grunts off. So you just kill everything. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm not dead. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Rob, I've been from the team. This has been part 8 of Halo 2. And there's been level outskirts. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And to Ra. Special delivery